handout 31, I had a question coming out of section 9.3, number 21. And here we were told that we had a geometric sequence. And we were given the first few terms of this sequence, and we were asked to find a sub 7. Now, anytime I have a geometric sequence, I, I want to find that common ratio, and I want to find a sub 1. Those are always really just two good numbers to have when you're running through these problems. But I can see a sub 1 right here. It's negative 2. That's great. I still need to find r. And if you ever want to find r, what you want to do is just take the ratio of any two terms. So I could do a sub 2 divided by a sub 1. I could do a sub 3 in ratio to a sub 2, a sub 4 in ratio to a sub 3. But I always opt to pick the two with the smallest number. So I'm going to do that ratio of a sub 2 to a sub 1, right? The more recent term to the previous term. So as we start to look at that ratio, I've got positive 2 thirds divided by negative 2, right? And then when I work that out, I get that my r value is negative 1 third. So that's great. So at this point, if I'm keeping track of what I have, I knew a sub 1 was negative 2. And I've just solved for r, which is negative 1 third. Let me put the r equals there, OK? And so as we move through that, we also have this general formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. Well, that's great. I just want a sub 7. So I'm going to put a 7 here and a 7 here. right? And then matching all of this up, I'm going to take a sub 1 being 2. And I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to take my r being negative 1 third and plug it in here. And that's going to allow me to solve for a sub 7. So that's what you see me doing in this equation. I plug all of that information in. Right? And then when I solve for a sub 7, I get negative 2 over 729. All right? Thanks so much. Bye.